All right, this is important. This is this is the real content chat, so pay attention. On the last episode of Jolly Biscuit, The End of the Fucking World, Part 2, the Republicans made a convention on a uh, Nordic rune stage to discuss fucking dogs, and they all dressed up in little crotchless uh, spandex suits where their penises would flap about as they looked for dogs to fuck. Now, 92 days until the election, part three, into the fucking world. Buy my boy Jolly Biscuit comes out. Let's see what he has to say. Okay, so it looks like we've cut from the uh, dog fucking parade from the convention. Um, now, we have this spray tan guy who is missing a tan around his head. I assume because he wears a MAGA cap. But in proper etiquette, he does not wear his MAGA cat at the, ha- at the at the table when he eats. He says, everyone knows politics starts at the dinner table. I love my family and I do best to keep them on track. I'm so proud when I show them off to my single friends. And then he does a big old thumbs up to uh, three of his, who I assume are his friends. And they are each wearing a red hat. One says poo. The other says butt, and the other says ass. Isn't there a country song out right now that says something about uh, when... I remember when... Oh, it was a little... It's a little back then right now. And he says, uh, when politics wasn't table talk, that's something that he complains about. And back then, politics wasn't table talk, but he wishes that it was a little bit back then right now. This is this is this is an inaccurate parody, I believe. Um. Anyways, he continues. Um. He asks his son. He says, "Did you win the internet today, son?" Now, I'm assuming that this is a proper noun. It's all capitalized. I will give my expert comicer Jolly Biscuit the benefit of the doubt and assume that this is a proper noun. Internet. The son replies and says, "Grimble, grumble, me like you, dad. Me like a video James. Me like a meme magic." And then the dad says, and he gets a boner when this happens, so apparently this pleases him. He says, ha ha, swell, just make the, don't make the same meme for too long or you'll start to look like it. And this, of course, is an explanation as to why he looks kind of like Pepe the Frog. Um, I would also like to take this time to point out that they're eating um, green. This is actually consistent throughout the comic. They are eating pure green. I'm not sure what that's supposed to reference. Is this like Soylent Green? Um, I'm not sure. You would ex- if you were really parroting these people, you would make their plate nothing but beige and fried. But apparently, they're health nuts and they eat um, liquefied broccoli or something. Uh, wife, have you been well? And now his wife is like a short-haired dyke with like a, a earthworm body. That's a bit uh, preposterous. She says. I started a crystal healing practice in our basement, and so far I only killed three customers. And he says, what a great little earner she is. Uh, Of course, parroting the fact that evil conservative white women love crystals? Is that a thing? I don't think conservative women like healing crystals. That's like a neoliberal Mother Gaia Earth thing, right? I think he's, I don't, I'm very confused by this. Um, dearest daughter, how was school? And then she says, I want to study theater. Now this triggers Mr. Mr. Spray Tan. His eyes bulge in disgust. He says, oh, oh, well. And then she says, society should fund the arts. Arts are important. Uh, he is still very erect, but he's saying no now. He's afraid. He's also holding a knife, which confuses me because his Soylent Green appears to be completely liquefied. So what he's cutting with that knife is unknown to me. As she also says, or he says, you have your future to think about. And she says, I'm also joining a women's circle. We'll be sharing our traumas. Uh, His penis has now shriveled up, actually. So the erection has died. The woman continues to explain to him. And talking about our periods and shit. He goes, whoa. And his eyes are X'd out. He's uh, actually mortified by this. Um, the background appears to be pulsing different colors of orange and, and green now. And he says, that's disgusting, daughter. You have violated the sanctity of the dinner table. 
Do you really think that your poor grandfather wants to hear about pussies and vagina all night? And he smashes the plate. Um, the Soylent Green is, is fine. Granddad is sitting over there in a wheelchair, and uh, his his penis grows at the words of uh, pussies and vaginas. Bravo. Bravo, Jolly Biscuit. <laughs> this guy, I have no idea what he's going for. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's like his hatred of, like, MAGA conservatives is so like amorphic and disjointed and completely detached from reality that it has like divorced itself from any sort of semblance of reality and just become like pure abstract art. He is not describing a parody of MAGA conservatives. He is describing his own anger and hatred in this roundabout kind of like, um, uh, Lovecraftian, like the way that everything is like a tendril is like, it's, it's indescribable horror. It's a Lovecraftian neoliberal progressive comic. It truly is great. <laughs> Imagine spending time making this. I don't have to, maybe I should become his only patron. I think I, I think he would talk to me. He would give me. He would like rub my back or something. He's like <laughs> whisper sweet nothings into my ear about how much he hates Donald Trump. <laughs> He's a brown commie. I don't think so. I don't know if there's a picture of him. Someone find a picture of him. I don't think he's brown. Thanks so for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.